The recent COVID-19 pandemic illustrated the capacity of the viruses to spread among continents and the need to detect them quickly and reliably. Most popular methods were antigenic tests and PCR tests for polymerase chain reaction. These techniques can be used for plants too, in particular for banana plants. A strict control of the virus infection is required to avoid the propagation of pathogenic viruses, such as banana bungee top virus and banana bract mosaic virus. For that matter, PCR tests are performed on the banana material that aims to be distributed according to international guidelines for the safe movement of Musa germplasm. The detection of banana viruses by PCR follows different stages that are all important to ensure the reliability of the generated results. It starts from collecting leaf samples in greenhouse, grinding the samples, the viral nucleic acids extraction, the polymerase chain reaction itself, the results visualization and finally writing a report to be validated by the germplasm health unit head. First stage is the collection of leaf samples to test from the banana plants growing in the greenhouse. All the collection material has been previously prepared and disinfected and collection bags have been labelled with a unique identifier for each sample. The tip of the banana leaf is collected with a sterile scalpel placed in the collection bag and then the bag is closed. To maximise the reliability of the test, four individual plants per accession are tested and the three youngest leaves are collected in each plant. Any suspect symptom is also noted. Between each sample, scalpels and gloves are changed to avoid cross-contamination between plants. After collecting all the samples, they are moved to the laboratory for further processing. Next step is the sample preparation and grinding. Depending on the virus to be tested, Samples are grinded using different methods, either in a mashed bag with a special grinding buffer and grinded with an homogenizer, or the samples can be grinded with mortar and pestle. The resulting powder is weighed and transferred to the extraction tube for the next step of the process. This step is the isolation and purification of the viral nucleic acids from plant tissues. Different extraction protocols and kits can be used. The protocol providing optimal nucleic acid isolation yield and quality have been previously determined for each plant species to ensure low risk of RNA degradation due to temperature samples are kept on ice all along the extraction protocol. After the extraction RNA yield and quality are verified according to several methods qubit for concentration, nanodrop for purity ratios and eventually bioanalyzer for the RNA integrity for further characterization such as HTS analysis. The RNA extracted will then be used for RT-PCR tests in order to detect the viruses of interest. Under the dedicated hood previously treated with UV for disinfection and DNA elimination, cDNA will be synthesized and then amplify with specific primers for each virus targeted in simple or multiplex reaction. Positive and negative controls are added for both RT and PCR steps in order to ensure the validity of the detection test. Afterwards, the PCR plate is moved to the thermocycler room to run the PCR. The last step performed in the lab is the results visualization. After running the PCR, the amplicons produced are migrated on an electrophoresis gel and then visualized in the dedicated gel dock. First, positive and negative controls are verified for the presence and absence of bands respectively in order to validate the test. Then the samples tested are inspected for any presence of bands at the expected size which will indicate positive results. To finalize the detection test, a complete report is written presenting information on the operator, the test by itself, and on the samples tested such as the sample IDs, the origin of the material, the virus status, and eventual remarks on the samples. This report is sent to the germplasm health unit supervisor to validate it and sign it. At the end of the PCR-based virus detection test, 
the virus status of each banana plant is determined. Either negative and the plants can be distributed and multiplied or positively infected and the banana plants need to be curated by thermotherapy or chemotherapy to eradicate the virus and will need to be tested again. As presented in this video, PCR tests are reliable tools used by germplasm health units to provide certified virus tested material that can be distributed abroad for multiplication and to plant growers for cultivation.